Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and all the corporate sponsors are belong to Blender. That's right, Blender has a new major corporation backing its development. The Blender Developer Fund has a new patron in the form of... Amazon. That's right. So last month we got Facebook. This month we have Amazon. Quickly, it's turning into uh, who's not there. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting Amazon, but hey, I'll take it. More money. So this was the tweet that came out on the Blender account. Welcome AWS to the Blender Development Fund. And then a bit of a press release about it. Speaking of said press release... Let's go check it out. Uh, so as here's today, the Blender Foundation announced that AWS has joined the Amazon Development Fund as a patron member to support continued core development and innovation for Blender. AWS committed to a period of three years specifically to support character animation tools development. Uh, we're excited to continue to expand our support for open source solutions for our customers in the digital content creation space, says Kyle Roche, GM of Creative Tools. The Blender Foundation has been an industry leader in providing production grade open source software solutions and we look forward to helping our mutual customers work more efficiently than ever before through continued improvements in Blender. Two years ago, Blender Foundation started a project to redesign and upgrade Blender's character animation system for the coming deck day, deck Day, decade, decade. Uh, nicknamed Animation 2020, it has a number of specs that were reviewed by character animators, animators and industry veteran Jason Schiller, now creative director at AWS. It has always been my preference to work closely with industry talent on improving Blender, uh, said Blender cha chairman Don Rosendahl. Uh, thanks to AWS support, we can recruit additional top developers to help us bring character animation in Blender to new heights. Blender Foundation will start recruiting in the course of Q1 2021 pending you know the world not being insane so that is actually some pretty big news uh the blender development fund is getting sponsored for a term of uh, three years time. We don't actually see the amount of money behind here, but it is going into character animation tools development. And let's just say if there's an area where Blender could probably use some help, it's in character animation tools development. So I like seeing this. I think uh, it is a good way to allocate the money and, and there's no kind of, oh, why are they in it? You know why they're in it. They want to improve the animation tools. Now you may not know what AWS is all about and <laughs> nobody does because AWS is this all-encompassing entity. Do you know like they're like 50% of Amazon's revenue? Amazon probably makes more money selling AWS services than they do selling crap on Amazon. It's amazing how big AWS has become. But basically it is cloud computing. If you come here and you look at products, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's what you get. So they've got, and each one of these has scrolling in it. Like they just, they make everything here. The big ones are going to be uh, EC2, which is their uh, virtual computing in the cloud. S3, which is their storage in the cloud. Of direct interest to game developers, we get into game tech. Uh, they own the Lumberyard game engine. On top of that, they also own GameLift, which is game server hosting. Uh, plus they also own Twitch. And then they also work in the VR and AR spaces uh, with the uh, Sumerian uh, as another product there. And then, of course, they are the people that basically power the Internet these days. So um, why they are interested in uh, Blender, probably more at this level their kind of thing. But of course, they're also all boats rises. If, if the world of game development improves and they sell game servers and more games are made and more people are playing games, hey, Amazon makes more money in that regard too. So that's the AWS and where the angle comes from. Now, the question mark is, how much money are we talking about here? And it's not its not in the press release. And I, I kind of get that. Sometimes that's a little uncouth. We do know it's three years worth of stuff. Uh, but through a little bit of sleuthing, uh, I, I can give you a rough idea of how much money it is because here we are at the Blender Developer Fund page. And here you can see there are 5,275 individuals sponsoring the development fund, 53 corporations, and $158,000 monthly being contributed. And the cool thing here is you're going to see AWS is here at the top end. To get into this category, you're either giving 120,000 euros a month or... No, sorry, a year. Sorry, that was a real generous thing there. So everybody here is giving at least 120,000 euros a year to uh, Blunder Foundation. And in the case of Mega Grant, they gave $1.2 million in a flat sum. Uh, so these guys right here all gave at least that much money. So that's why AWS is in this list. But there's some other magic we could do here in that Facebook just sponsored them as well. So last month I did a video on Blender was, you know, uh, the Facebook foundation came on board the Blender Development Fund. And then I happened to capture this exact same page. 
Uh, so what you'll see here is there was 5,128 individuals, 49 corporations, for a grand total of 133,844 euros of development. 158. Now, obviously, these numbers also grew. So this isn't all coming from, uh, you know, AWS. But you kind of give an idea, or at least you can sort of guess where, where we're at here. So uh, we went, okay, why are you not working? All right, let's go back here. We went from 133.84 to 158.055. So we're in a good place. This is a nice little chunk of change. And as I mentioned earlier on, we're kind of getting to the point where you can almost do who's not sponsoring Blender at this point. And you got Unity's in there, Unreal is in there, uh, both major chip manufacturers are in there, uh, AWS in there, Facebook is in there, Intel, mind you, weirdly enough, it's their software division, not their hardware. Microsoft is a sponsor as well. A couple of uh, Linux distributions are in there. Steam is in there. Most of the companies you can think of are in there for the most part. And then some you probably wouldn't expect. We got a couple of uh, sneaker companies in here and so on. The one that really stands out to me as missing at this point in time uh, it's Apple. And you know what? With them going their own way on their own silicon and all of that stuff, you would think that Apple would probably want to, to help out here, but they, they seem to be the, the one who's who of missing. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Everybody else that you can really think of, they're, they're here for the most part. Uh, it'd be nice to see more studios come on board. I'd love to see more and more big game companies start using uh Blender in general, and then definitely their support would be nice as well. And you know what? If, if they switched to Blender from Autodesk and just gave like half of their uh, licensing fees to develop Blender in the future, it would still probably end up being a really good investment for them. So all told, that is a uh, nice little bit of news. AWS is now sponsoring Blender for a term of three years to improve on the character animation tools. The one thing you could probably sit back and stop being afraid of is that this corporate influence is going to ruin Blender because as you can see, a lot of big bad corporations, Google, Microsoft, Intel, AMD, Nvidia, uh, Facebook are already sponsoring Blender and nothing bad happened. There's no reason to need a tinfoil hat here. This is just giving them more resources. Now this one is a little bit more specific than a lot of them were in the past. Uh, Facebook came on board specifically because of their VR products so they probably want to push more into that area but that's pretty broad. So. Again, uh, there's not really a specific area there. Uh, this is one of the first sponsorships I've seen that went to a very specific reason. This is the first time I've seen something like that. This is specifically to support character animation tool development. But then again, from a purely selfish perspective, especially from a game dev perspective, better character animation tools in Blender, good thing. I'm 100% on board. Uh, so really, again, nothing to fear here. This is just good news for Blender all around. Again, let me know what you think down below. And also let me know uh, from this list who who who's kind of, who do you think should be next on the uh, sponsorship train? Uh, to me, obviously, it's Apple. But I, I'd be curious to hear from your end what company benefits from the labors of, you know, from the fact that the Blender gets better, it helps them out. Uh, let me know comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.